Okay, so a long lever bridge is what we move on to after the heel hold bridge. Um, and if you remember what I was saying in that video, I was saying the longer, the further out the feet are, the more hamstring activation we would get in a bridge. So I'm still holding on my heels, the same as the last one. And now I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and I'm gonna lift up and I'll feel that in the hamstrings, okay? And what you're looking for here, if this is, you know, if you've got an insertional hamstring tendinopathy, you'll feel it right up, you know, the base of your, base of the crease of your ass, really. You're looking to try and recreate that symptom, not strong, but you want to feel it. Yeah, you don't want it sharp or stabbing or eliciting real pain, but on the pain scale, you really want to be getting to a three to four to know you're actually exercising the right area. So what you would do is you'd start, squeeze, lift, hold for two, come down, that feels all right, creep my heel out a bit more, squeeze, lift, okay, I can feel it a bit there. So now you know you're in the right place, yeah? If it didn't work, you'd go a bit longer, yeah? And you keep creeping your heels out till you got to the right point, holding for two and then back down. If you're doing those and you're happy with them, you can progress it. So squeeze it and lift. And then if I'm doing my right hamstring, straighten my left leg, hold for five. And after five, lower and then lower and then repeat on right. So, so same progression as the other one, straighten the opposite leg, hold for five seconds. And that's your, uh, that's your long lever bridge.